All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sportswire Bridgeport Bluefish segment. That's right, as we told you last week, instead of doing, you know, a full hour live show, we're going to break it down into segments for you. And uh, this week is our first try, our first set. So uh, we're going to go on with strictly Bridgeport Bluefish and Atlantic League news. So the Bridgeport Bluefish coming home, it, by the time you watch this on Friday, the 26th, uh, last night, Thursday, the 25th, the uh, Bluefish came home to Bridgeport after a 5-5 five and five road trip, uh, capped off by uh, the loss to the, to the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs down in Regency Furniture Stadium on Wednesday. Uh, let's see. They ended up losing 5-4 to four on Wednesday afternoon, meaning uh, today as we're filming. And then uh, also on last night, Dontrell Willis, former Major League All-Star, is pitching for the Long Island Ducks, or pitched for the Long Island Ducks as uh, they came into town for a set with the Bluefish, which uh, Bluefish will be playing tonight as well uh, against the Ducks at home. Uh, a 7.05 start, I'm sure. Uh, Dontrell Willis and... In Bridgeport, that's a big name coming into the uh, Atlantic League, which shows you that uh, these current players, or former, I should say, former veteran players, just want to play. So they're going to come down to the Independent League, the Atlantic League, and uh, take up a team. If you remember correctly, you know, Roger Clemens played for the Sugarland Skeeters, uh, I believe it was last season, actually pitched against the Bridgeport Bluefish. Uh, so it's, it's, they're no strangers. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero had actually signed with the Long Island Ducks but just never, <laughs> never reported to the team. So uh, he's probably off in retirement somewhere. Uh, going on to uh, some batting stats for the, uh, for the Bluefish. Uh, Mayora, infielder, has a 329 batting average. He's played in 86 games this year. Uh, right now he is 114 for 346. Which goes to show you, you can be, you can only be successful a third of the time, and still be successful in baseball. Uh, behind him is Crum in the outfield. He's 305, playing 85 games. He is right now 98 for 321. Uh, going over some uh, home run statistics for the Bluefish. Uh, let's see, eight home uh, right now. The uh, leader of the team is uh, Carter. Uh, eight home runs. He's got 25 RBIs, but that's definitely not the highest RBI total on the team. Right now, the highest total RBI total on the team belongs to Gomez, an outfielder, who's also batting 302. He's got 50 RBI on the season. He's leading the team. Right behind him is Redmond, who's got 45 RBI on the season. And behind him, Mayora has 37. Uh, let's see. Moving on to, uh, moving on to some... Pitching stats for the Bridgeport Bluefish. Uh, Bluefish right now currently their ERA leader has only played in three games, 2.1 innings, uh, and that's uh, English. Right behind him is uh, Fulcino, who's uh, looks like their closer with uh, eight saves. He's got .67 ERA. As a matter of fact, I'll check right now who the save leader is, and it is it's Fulcino. Uh, but the, in terms of the pitcher with the lowest, the, the starting pitcher with the lowest, it looks like it's, uh, let's see, let me, let me find someone. There we go. Parisi, who's, uh, played 18 games, started 18 games, uh, 107 innings pitch. He's got a 4.88 ERA and, uh, looks to be uh, another starter who started nine games, 51.2 innings pitch, 3.83 ERA is, uh, Kala. So the Bridge, uh, Bridgeport Bluefish, they have the team. Uh, they just need to work on their, obviously, their pitching and their hitting. Because uh, right now in the second half of the season, they're one game behind, one game under 500 um, at 9 and 10. But it's good enough for second place in the Liberty Division behind the Long Island Ducks. By the way, if you're watching this and you have any questions for us for any other future show, Definitely ask us. Uh, our Twitter, you can see going down at the bottom, is at SportsWireSWE. We do have a new Facebook page, which we're going to be updating our marquee anyways. But you can always use the hashtag SportsWire and uh, ask us any question there. and We'll get to, we'll get it up uh, online. We'll also 
retweet it for you. Currently in uh, the uh, Atlantic League playoff standings, or Atlantic League uh, standings, the Sugarland Skeeters are 15-4 and four in the uh, Freedom Division. Uh, they're running away with everything. Um, they, I believe they're, they're also the overall, yeah, 62-27 and 27 for an overall, uh, an overall uh, record. The Lancaster Barnstormers are 9-10, and 10, which is a big drop off six games back. Somerset Patriots are 7-11, seven and 11, seven and a half games back. And the York Revolution are 7-12, and 12, eight games back. In the Liberty Division, Long Island Ducks are 14-5. and five. Uh, Bluefish, like I said, are 9-10, and 10, five games back. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs, who won the first half for the Liberty Division, are now in third place, 8-11, and 11, six games back. And the Camden River Sharks are 7-13, seven and 13, seven and a half games back. So it looks like they're going to end up going by the wild card standings for the Freedom Division. In which case, who would make it? I'm trying to find out for you. Uh, because they're going to go by the wild card, the overall standings, the overall record for the wild card team to make the Atlantic League playoffs. And they're going to either play, uh, right now, the wild card team looks like it's the Somerset Patriots who are in the lead for the wild card and uh, 53 and 35. Because right now the Long Island Ducks w would possibly or could possibly win the uh, Freedom Division, or the Liberty Division, excuse me, and go on to the playoffs to play the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs who won the Liberty Division in the first half. Sugarland Skeeters won the Freedom Division in the first half, and they're way ahead in the second half, so they would go by the wild card team, the Somerset Patriots, to uh, play them in the, first, in the, in the playoffs to uh, determine who would go to the championship. Uh, let's see. So, hopefully, uh, you've learned a lot from the uh, Bluefish segment. And uh, check us out on uh, Sportswire SWE, which is our YouTube channel. So, youtube.com slash Sportswire SWE. Check out our website, www.swe-ct.com, uh, for all news and notes for any minor league or semi-pro sport in the state of Connecticut right now. Uh, we will be debuting new programming over the next few uh, weeks and months, and we'll be having a lot of great guest interviews starting off next week with a uh, big name in uh, college sports, and uh, we'll be posting that on our website as soon as possible. But definitely check back every Friday to swe-ct.com for the newest programming uh, found here for the Sportswire.